going on everybody? It's Mr. Air HD here and today we've got something a little bit different. Today I want to address a topic that's been floating around my channel and over various forms of social media, so Facebook, Twitter, things I've seen in Forza groups, um, is why people upload drifting videos and that's basically uh, just saturated all over YouTube and it's kind of really a little bit of a problem for people who aren't interested in it. Um, so I just want to give my two cents and my take. Why do I upload drifting videos? It's because I love it. You know, it's 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 just a passion that I've had since I was a kid. I've always been watching uh, video option, um, best motoring. Uh, Initial D was one of my favorite enemies growing up. I was into I've been into this since I was just a kid. I'm not one of those people that just hopped on this drifting bandwagon as of the past five years. And if you are, that's cool. But that's not who I am. I grew up with this sport, and I've always been passionate about this sport, especially within the Forza uh, realm of this. I was. I wanted an Xbox 360 to get into Forza Drifting because of what I saw Team Blackjack doing. Um, I got into Forza 2 uh, Drifting. I spent hours and hours and hours and hours trying to learn just how to do it. It was very, very difficult in that game. Not as easy as it is in uh, Forza 4 and Forza 6. But I finally figured it out. I finally learned uh, the ins and outs of the, dri of, of the drifting. What am I? Like a 40-year-old man? I uh, figured out the ins and outs of drifting in that game and finally started to take it to a competitive level and that's where I've been since. It's not a fad to me within Forza. Um, it's, it's something that I've put a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of passion into and even if I wasn't making videos I would still be doing drifting centric things. Um, whether that's on Forza or, or Seto Corsa or whatever. Um, it's just what I love to do in racing games um, and that's I don't see that changing anytime soon just because it's just such a huge... Why did I... Best? I have a thing on the ground that tells me to stay here, and I moved forward like a big fucking idiot. So point number two, it's because I'm fucking good at it. You know, it's it's it, it kind of sounds like I'm kind of full of myself, but it's just true. I'm good at it. It's it it doesn't take a genius to see if you go in one of my videos that hey, I'm not running into walls every three seconds, am I? Um, I've put like I've said before, I put years into learning how to tune. I put years into developing my skills. Um, I, I competed a lot in Forza 3 and Forza 4. I'm kind of in the competitive scene now, but not as much. I still like to think of myself skill-wise as like in tandem drifting as like top 50 worldwide. Um, if you consider that with just controller drifters, then I'm I think I'm a lot higher than that. Whether um, not just raw skill, but like uh, race craft, knowing how to tandem properly, what to do behind and front, uh, mental game. I think I'm one of the strongest guys out there, and I mean that maybe I'm just sitting here being a little bit overconfident, but that's how I feel. And well, now we can take it to a sense of content rather than just how oh I'm am I mean yeah, I'm real fucking good. We can take it to the way of what you guys see. So it's variety, right? Um, you can see, I mean, for A-class racing, there's way, basically one way to build a car. There's one proper way to build a car, um, and if you do it another way, it's not going to be as good as this way, but if you tune, let's say, for example, an S13 for A-class, there's four different engine options, there's th two different tire options, three different tire options. Um, there's so much you can do with that car, um, to make it your own and still have it like similar or the same PI as other people. And that's what I love about it. It's you can do so much different than the other guys while still doing the same thing. Who do you know does car builds? Me, uh, EK, uh, Tomcat I'm sure, AR12 still does drift car builds. I bet if you gave us all the same car and said, oh, for example, here, here's an S13. I want you guys all to go off and build an S13 for drifting, and that's all you said. I bet you'll come back with four very different cars. You know, mine's probably going to be a little bit less horsepower, more work into the tune. Um, other guys may have more horsepower, be running the V8, the RV26, something like that. And that's just what I love about it. There's so much you can do uh, to, to distinguish yourself from everybody else, yet... Um, you don't have to go out and do something crazy, like some crazy video formula. You say, hey, I'm doing car builds, but this is the way I do it. And, you know, maybe someone prefers an 800 horsepower S13 to a 500 horsepower S13. And that's where, you know, you guys can start making decisions. You can run tracks in different ways. When you're racing, when you're racing, it's your racing line is your racing line. You can kind of deviate from that a little bit, but that's basically it. If you, let's say if I do a late apex, on a corner, uh, as opposed to the guy that's doing the early apex in the corner, which is the proper way to do the corner, for example, I'm going to lose time. I'm not going to be as fast as that guy, therefore I'm worse. But 
the guy who runs an outer clipping point and an inner clipping point, or maybe I, they flick it in a bit differently, or they get on the e-brake instead of using a faint drift, it can all work, end up being just as good, just in a different way. That adds to that variety that we were talking about. There's just so much more you can do on track to distinguish yourself from everybody else. You see that in points, too. Some guys are a little bit slower, but go for more angle. Um, some guys, like me, like to focus on speed and line. And There's so much opportunity for you to distinguish yourself from other people, but like even if you had the same car, you can still tell who's driving. Uh, it's just a really, really beautiful thing, in even in video game form. Um, and there's different ways to drift alone, like I already touched about it. You can do hot lapping, where it's just you and the track, and you're like, I'm gonna do real cool stuff. You can do points where you're like, I'm gonna be the very best. You can do tandem, which is what I do, what I like to do. Or you can do really, really competitive. And then finally, this is like the least itchy as fucking mouse. God damn! So finally, the least important point that I think has to do with any of this, why I upload drifting videos, is basically because of the views. And some of you are like, hey, Arrow, you only get 500 views a video. Where have you been? You piece of lazy prick. Fuck you. Really? That's where the views are, and um, you can see some guys that are doing racing stuff that are very successful, such as Fail Race, and I know there's guys that, uh, such as Gingium that are really taking a, a stranglehold of that drag racing scene right now, but at least at the time, that's where the views were. Why do you think there are people out there, I'm not naming names, but you're going to know who I'm talking about, and please don't name them in the comments, because that's not what this is about. This isn't a witch hunting video. You're going to see people in the, uh, that are uploading videos that clearly don't care about drifting. Uh, they like to do it, sure, or whatever, but like they don't care. A lot of people that are just putting out drifting videos because they know you guys want to see them. Um, that's a fucking B. Anyway, guys, like I was saying, it's just not all about the views, but clearly they're there. Um, I wouldn't have 25,000 subscribers right now if it wasn't for you guys wanting to see some quality drifting content. So, and again, thank you guys very much for that. And I'm sure there's some of you guys that do enjoy the stuff that I do, like the Eve Destruction videos. And believe me, those are coming back. Just gotta find time uh, to record them. But the bread and butter, and luckily for what I love to do, is build drift cars and drift drift cars. Um, but yeah, short, long story short, that's why I post drifting videos, unless you guys were ever curious, and that's why I haven't really deviated from that path. Um, so thank you guys very much. I wanna thank you guys on Facebook, not you guys specifically, but whoever has ever posted on Facebook and saying, oh, the YouTube comedy, YouTube community is so oversaturated with, with people doing drifting, I hate it. You guys inspired this video, and I don't necessarily agree with your opinion, but I'm really glad that you shared it. I'm going to try to do a little bit more of these, maybe a little bit more controversial topics, but I figured I'd start off with something really easy, just so you guys could get used to the format. You see me on camera a little bit more, instead of having something in the background. So thank you guys very much for watching, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Why did I snap? Why did I, why did I snap? What am I, a talk show host? Am I fucking Jay Leno? Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Also, consider becoming a patron at my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Want to follow me on social media? Or want to hear the song that you heard in the video? Please check the description.